Hello. So I have a new pen today. I purchased this on Amazon and uh, it costs $14.95. It is a Cross Bailey and I definitely purchased a medium and this says extra fine. And that says extra fine. Um, yep, so Cross Bailey Light Polished Fountain Pen. And um, the color on Amazon also looked like it was more of a coral peach, whereas this is a very bright peach. Now let me see, how am I gonna actually get into this? Now the shipping time was relatively quick. I ordered this on Friday and it came today, which is a Sunday. So here is the nib. It is a stainless steel nib. That's an interesting shape of a nib. So I saw this on Chris um, Sane's video where she's doing her student pen exploration. And I, I remember thinking that nib looks interesting. Um, so I looked it up and, and started doing a little digging on it. Um, so I figured I'd give it a try. Now it, it comes with a cartridge and in the very limited research that I did, it looks like the, <clears throat> there's maybe not necessarily a converter that works perfectly with it. There might be two converters sold by Cross, but the performance is variable. So I figured <clears throat> for $15, and I apologize, I have allergies. So if you hear me clearing my throat or sniffling, that's what it is. Um, but I figured I would use up the cartridge and then maybe just refill this with some ink, but it is a black cartridge. So let's see, it looks like it must go this way. Okay. That was an unexpected direction. Um, so I'm going to give some time for the ink to flow down into the feed. I imagine it will take a few minutes. Ooh, so it's a push cap. It will post. It's very lightweight. Um, posted, it doesn't really feel very back heavy. Let's see if I can grab some pens to compare it with. So here is a, oops, uh, a Lamy, which is a little tiny bit longer. Um, here is a Twisby. I haven't yet cleaned that out, but you can see I did use up the Ackerman ink. Um, here is a Pilot Prera, which is much shorter. Um, anything else I want to compare it to. Maybe the Ferris Wheel Press Carousel. So it's longer than the Ferris Wheel Press Carousel. Okay. Let me get 
get my paper out and you can see this is ready to write. Oh wow, it is. Okay. So this is a cross Bailey. Just seeing if it has a name for the color. Looks like there might be something under the sticker, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to quickly pull that up. Maybe I will. Coral. Hmm. Oops, sorry. I just threw that to the side. It looks like the color is called rail um, but given how pink it is I am going to name it coral and this has a cross black cartridge and it has an extra fine I definitely wanted a medium I wanted something that I could put uh, some of my shimmer inks in and um, not worry so much about the shimmer clogging the feed. But this, um, I mean, the way that it's laying down ink, I think it probably would handle a shimmer relatively well. And this was purchased on Amazon for $14.95. And it arrived within two days. On April second. This is a stainless steel nib. It has absolutely no give to it, but it just has, I don't, I can't really describe it, but this really nice kind of um, rounded edges. It's almost the a similar shape to a Pelican nib, which I do not have that pen in this room with me right now. So I can't show that to you to compare, but it does, the nib does um, have the cross logo on it. Looks like it says 1846 USA. So it's a very nice nib. May not be the best. Focus is not wonderful. I apologize. Here I am looking at it closely realizing and then I realize that you're not seeing it the same way I am. So feed keeps up. Um, I always, when I write the sentence, I have a thought. I had for a bit been putting jumped over the lazy dog and someone pointed out that it's jumps over the lazy dog. And the jumps is what gives this sentence, which contains all of the letters of the alphabet, the letter S. So I always think of that now. Um, I'd have to really dig into the comments to find that. But to the viewer that commented, 
that you made an impact that really stuck with me. So thank you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, add this for the month of April. Maybe I'll get through that black cartridge. It was very small. And um, then I will find a beautiful ink from my collection to add. Just doing a little time. Not bad. All right, so just doing a slow count to 10 in my head, it was close to drying. So probably maybe a 30 second dry time. Not bad. All right, um, so that is the Cross Bailey. Again, $14.95 on Amazon. They do have a variety of colors. And um, the ship time was relatively quick, likely because it may, it seems like it is a USA um, brand. Oh, it looks like it's actually out of Providence, Rhode Island. Look at that. Um, yeah, so it uh, gets there quicker. So if you're looking for a way just to add a little newness and brightness to your collection you don't want to spend a ton of money you don't want to wait three weeks maybe this one is your bet let me know do you have a cross bailey in your collection do you have any other pens from cross um how do you like them what's been what's been your experience and if you do have a cross bailey do you have a cartridge converter give me some tips because i would Certainly prefer that over uh, reusing an empty cartridge. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Take a moment, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Bye.